Hi, first say your name. Arlene Holt Baker, and Executive you, Vice President, AFL CIO. And why are you here today in Pittsburgh? We're here today in Pittsburgh because we want to ensure that the people of Pittsburgh have what they need, the necessary voter ID, state issued voter ID, to be able to cast their vote in November. Although we object to the Pennsylvania voter suppression law that has been passed in this state requiring voter ID, we know its intent was to suppress the votes of people of color, young people, the poor and the elderly. We're saying we're not going to wait to hear from the Supreme Court. We hope that it does the right thing, but we can't wait for that decision. We've got to make sure that people have what they need in hand so that they can cast their votes in November and protect their democracy. We're quite frankly here because we believe that the only way to ensure a democracy in our country is that the citizens of this country have the ability to vote. We shouldn't be trying to make it harder for citizens to vote, but much easier for people to participate in their democracy. So why do you think that they came up with this law? I mean, their supporters of this law are saying uh, uh, voter fraud and stuff like that, but when there's, you know, uh, 60,000 dead people voting in, you know, for both sides, the Democrats and Republicans in every election, why why don't they, you know, fix a lot of things besides the... There, it, listen, this is a solution to a problem that does not exist. There is no problem with voter fraud. Across the nation, we have seen 17 states introduced some kind of voter suppression law. There is no evidence of massive voter fraud. Even under the Bush administration, a special commission investigated it and in the whole country only found 87 cases of it. Here in the state of Pennsylvania, there has not been one case, not one case documented that anyone has gone to the polls and tried to impersonate someone else to be able to cast a vote. The reason that they have introduced this law in Pennsylvania, and quite frankly around the nation, they have been very clear, they've been very open. It is to stop the coalition of voters who voted in 2008 for President Barack Obama. Uh, that was a historic election and the turnout among people of color, young people, and the poor was historical. They want to stop that tide from happening in 2012. This is about making sure that the 1% have control of the 98%. It's about power. So they will do anything by any means necessary to make sure that those who advance the 1% have control. So what would you say to the general public right now? My message to the general public is people died for the right for us to vote in this country. If you believe in our democracy, then remember, it is your right, it is your vote. Don't let anybody block you or deterring you from participating in your democracy. It's your right. Say your name? Nolan Harrison. And what part of the city do you stay at now? Actually, I'm here from D.C. I'm with the NFL Players Association. I'm here to support. And uh, what are you doing here today? I'm here to support uh, the education of our of our citizens about the new voter uh, registration laws, uh, the voter ID laws that have been put in, um, that, uh, put in place now restrict a lot of our citizens from actually being able to vote the way they've normally been able to vote over the last, you know, um, for the, you know, for the whole for their whole lives. So for us, um, you know, we're not happy about the voter suppression laws that have been put in place, and uh, we want to make sure that we at least educate everyone so that they will be able to, uh, you know, exercise their constitutional right to vote in this upcoming election. The voter ID law. Uh, what, how do you think that it's going to it's going to affect the election? Well, the unfortunate part is um, the, the statistics are showing that the the, the ones who are going to be affected by this change are going to be the young the elderly, the minorities, uh, and you know, those numbers, if they can't go out and vote, um, can have a huge impact on an election. Everybody in this country should be able to vote. It's their right. It's, it's, it's part of what's great about this country. 
if now there's laws that have been put in place to restrict our ability to vote when you're doing everything else right. You're a tax-paying citizen, you're doing everything right, you're working, you've got a job, you've got a house, drive, but some glitch in your ID will no longer allow you to vote. It's just, to me, it's completely wrong. And it goes against what this democracy is supposed to be about. So you're not here for Democrats or Republicans, you're just here for voters? I'm here for education, and I'm here to make sure that everybody has their right and their ability to vote. Nobody in this country should be discriminated against um, for you know whatever is in or not in their ID. If you're now an elderly person, and you're no longer vote, you're no longer driving, and your driver's license is no longer valid, and they're telling you 50 days before the election that now you have to have one, that's wrong. That's being discriminated against. Uh, you know, if you're young and you've never had one, if you live in New York and you've never had a driver's license, you never had to have any of these things, that's wrong and that's discrimination. There was nothing wrong with the voter um, laws that we've had going all the way back to the beginning. There's been nothing wrong with it, there's been no voter fraud, no reason to change it, so why do it? But it's there, so let's now attack the problem. Let's make sure that we educate as many people as we possibly can so that everybody has a chance to have their voices heard. So what do you think about the supporters of this law saying that there's ample time for anybody to register and change their ID? Ample time in whose in who's, you know, time frame. You know, if it's ample time to somebody who can just uh, jump up and go and change it, that, that's fine. But what about the people who still haven't heard about it? What about the elderly who haven't heard about it? What about those who are disconnected? Um, they are used to November is when it's their time to vote. Um, you know, there's could be numerous different life circumstances that would keep anybody from being able to do so. Uh, what if they need to get a new birth certificate? Uh, that takes a lot more time than is currently allowed right now. So there's plenty of things that um, uh, that could keep people from exercising, exercising their constitutional right. I don't buy into the whole thing that everybody has enough time, and I think that's uh, that's, that's a pretty selfish thing to say uh, when you don't look through the prisms of everyone else's eyes.